Southside Soft California, and this is the Live and Five Show. I'm Justin Jones. And I'm Samara. We're broadcasting live from our Live and Five Show studio here on campus. So, Samara, hi. How are your grades? You Sorry, I was just wondering. The boys basketball team competes in a tournament over the holidays and comes back victorious. The story is on the way. The yearbook sale was <coughs> the yearbook sale was extended for this week only. Find out when the last day to get it for just $39. Have you had enough of this El Nino? Maybe he's taking a break. Stay tuned for my weather report. The Cleveland Cavaliers and the Denver Nuggets are growing up against each other. I think we all know who lost. Stay tuned for my weather report. Human bones have been unco uncovered that uncover a true amazing story. We have a lot more on the other side of the break. Stick around. Soft play-by-play. -play. Test Soft boys basketball team is competing, was competing in the annual Christmas tournament at Dominguez High School in Compton. The boys proudly defended their championship status as they beat Roosevelt 41-24. What a finish. Way to represent, guys. Did you get your 2016 yearbooks ordered yet? If not, there's still time to get it for just $39. It's on sale for a limited time, then prices go up to $49. To lock in the sales price, see Mr. Porter in room 205 or order online at testoffms.com. There will be a winter dance after school on January 14th. You must have your ID to purchase a ticket and cannot be on the non-activity list. Tickets will be sold during lunch on the 14th in front of room 400 and before the dance in front of the gate. Testoff is a no backpack school. Several students have been seen during passing periods and other times wearing or carrying backpacks. The small singe bags, or the PE bags, tend to be the biggest violators. Please don't bring backpacks to class. They can be sent back to the lockers, however. Students will take a tardy slip back to your class. Today we have Act Shooting Action Thursday's Vine segment. Let's check it out with Yasi. Hola! You're invited to watch Vines with me! Woo! Getting prepared for those trick-or-treaters, huh? You know it. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the house. This is nice. How's the parcel look? Well, the last owner actually died in the house. Are you home alone? No. My friend Danny's over. What did I tell you about having people over? Mom! Stop! Okay, sorry, Miko. Check or cheat! Peanut butter? Trick or treat! Oh, what are you supposed to be? I'm your long lost son. Billy, I missed you so much, Dad. Ha 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 ha! That was very funny. Did you know that a vineyard could totally make about thirty million dollars? I wish I could be that rich. See you next Thursday. That's it for the play play Tesla. We'll be right back after the break. <laughs> Good job, kids. Hey, what's going on here? Dress code violation, you got your hood on, like Harry Potter. What about you, your little brother's shirt? You can't be working around like that. That's a dress code violation. Get to my office. Whatever. Hey, give my mom a 
man. Where my money at? Give me my money, bro. Man, bro. Go. You got any more money? Nah, bro, I ain't got no more. You got any more money? No. Nah, give me all that money you got. I know you got more money. Boys! What are you doing? Nothing, we're not doing Are anything. you being peace builders? Yes, we're talking no. to him. Go to my office. During the construction for an added area to a school in Einsberg, Scotland, workers were shocked to find human remains buried in the ground. Experts say the remains date back to the 16th or 17th century and were also able to make computer animation, a computer animation of what he might have looked like. He's believed to be a pirate that was hung during, due to the injuries on, on the skeleton. There is an outbreak of dengue fever on the big island in the state of Hawaii from the bites of the 80s Aegypti and 80s Albopictus mosquitoes. There, there have been 117 cases confirmed of this fever since September. The first time an outbreak happened was in 2011 on the island of Oahu. The virus is, at, is usually found in Africa, Asia, the Caribbean, and the South Pacific, yet it is not native to Hawaii. The virus can be spread by infected mosquito bites or travelers who have been infected. This outbreak can last for many months and control of this virus is difficult due to visitors that come over to see the island. Time now to check in with David on today's entertainment report. Good morning, David. Good morning, everybody. Um, did anybody watch the People's Choice Awards yesterday when they had a morning show called The View on stage. Then a random guy just ran, ran up and said his name. They kicked him off the stage. That was, that was funny. In other news, experience the apocalyptic future of the new sci-fi adventure, The Fifth Wave. Cassie is on the run in a, in a future where four waves of lethal attacks have devastated the Earth's population. Cassie hurries to find her younger brother and teams up with a mysterious man. Cassie races against time to avoid the inventable fifth wave that will destroy the Earth. The fifth wave hits theaters January 15th. Ever, ever wondered what it would be like to have powers for, for a father and son, father and son pair? It is their worst nightmare in the new drama, Midnight Special. The two flee from two groups of pursuers, an extremist organization and the US government. The father goes along to protect his son who exhibits extraordinary powers. Midnight Special hits theaters March 18th. Let's see what's going on in the world of weather. Victoria. Good morning, it's time for your earthquake update. In Rio Del, there was a 4.3 earthquake this morning and there is possible tsunami warning. And in Ascension Island, California, there was a 5.1 earthquake this morning also. Moving through the week, our high will be an 8.7 on Friday. Or on Monday, sorry. Sorry guys, we're having some technical difficulties real quick. Here. Um. It's going to be, it's going to rain up until, <laughs> until the south, and the south, no. Here in Los Angeles, moving up to the north, it will be very rainy. Here in Los Angeles, Ohio will be 58. Moving up to the north, they're going to be looking at low 20s to low 30s. In the Midwest, low 30s. In the east, high. Low 40s to low 50s, and in the south, high 60s to low 70s. It's time for our five-day forecast. Today's high will be 60 and our low will be 43. Looks like El Nino is going to be running away for a little bit. On Saturday, we will have a chance of rain. The high for the week will be a 65 on Monday. 
Don't forget to send us your birthday pics and your social pics. Send message us on Instagram at tetsoffca. It's now time to check the daily web poll with Jace. Good morning, Jace. Thank you, Victoria. Today we have Megan, and we're in Miss Kyra's class again for round two. Say hi, everybody, for the second time. <laughs> As you can see, it's kind of bright, so you didn't really get to see anyone. But, you know, that happens. Megan, will you mind reading this week's poll for us? Should Tetzloff allow sandals on campus? Here's, what some of, here's some of the things you guys said. Yes, because sandals can be worn one day where when it's really hot at school. And another student said, no, because if a student wears a pair and another student... Oh, there's a bad glare on that, so let's just say that student said no, because sandals could hurt you, because I can't really read that right now, but you know what? I'm just going to take a guess on that one. We want... To vote, visit us online at liveatfivestore.com. We want to hear your opinions and put them on the air. Simply direct message us on Instagram at TetsLoffCA. So, Megan, you think we should wear sandals? No, because if you do, um, like if you start running to like catch your friend or anything, you can just trip and fall straight on your face. Well, that is true. I do fall quite a lot when I wear sandals, but I would take that risk for the sandals. Just sandals. I wouldn't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, it's time to check in Swords with the Raj. Good morning. Thank you, Jace. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Mirage Bailey, and this is your sports news. The, Cle the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Denver Nuggets went up against each other. Sadly, sadly once again, the Nuggets lost at a to the Cleveland Cavaliers at a score of 88 to 95. Now, before we move on, I'd just like to point out that the Denver Nuggets have made no improvement whatsoever. I mean, I guess they won some games, but I really didn't see them, so I have, there's, so there's basically no proof. So, like, uh, moving on, on Monday, the Miami Heats beat the Indi Indiana Pacers 103 to 100. The most points were scored by Paul George and Chris Bosh. George scored 32 for the Pacers, and Bosch scored 31 for the Heat. Jordan Hill and Chris Bosch received the most rebounds. Hill receiving 12 for the Pacers, and Bosch, Bosch getting 11 for the Heat. On Sunday, the, the Los Angeles Lakers beat the Phoenix Suns at, sta at the Staples Centers. This one was surprising, su surprising considering that the, they have only won five games this season. But that's not, but that's not the interesting part. By halftime, the Phoenix Suns only scored 22 points. Insane, right? All, at the end of the day, the Lakers left with a, with a 97 to 77 win. TCU and or Oregon went into serious battle. Oregon, I mean, went to, went into serious battle over the weekends, and Oregon dominated the first half of the game, 31 to zero. TCU made one of the most amazing comebacks in college college history. The game went into triple overtime, which helped which helped them beat the Ducks. It seems almost impossible for the Horn, Horns Frogs to come back, but in the third and fourth quarter, they scored enough to go into the overtime. Both teams started overtime with the seven points, and the game went into double overtime, where they both got, got three points for a field goal. Since both teams have amazing defense, they didn't let the other team score. The result Triple overtime. After the intense battle, TCU came out triumphant with a final score of 47 to 41. Oh, that was kind of complicated. Well, uh, time to check out the daily 401 with uh, Justin. Good morning. Thank you, Arash. When did the California drought start? 2012, 2013, 2014, or 2015? Take five. The drought started in late 2013 and lasted for about two years at this point. Time check in with Tamara. Thank you, Justin. Raise your hand if you're scared of an earthquake. All of you should be raising your hand. Well, you don't have to because the new earthquake bed is, fi bed is finally here. This bed carries food and water. It was also recorded that the bed was unbreakable. Wow. 
This bed will allow you to sleep when the whole world is about to end. It also has a whistle so you can call for help. That's one way to get a, that's one way for a peaceful night's sleep. That wraps up our show for today. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Give me your, give me your, give me your attention, baby.